to all the mothers that are pulling their hair, trying to teach their kids the multiplication table. Well, just teach them from one to five, they memorize that, and then from six to nine, they could do all of that on their fingers. So if the, let's start with the nine. So let's say three times nine. You count from the left, one, two, three, you close that, and then you have two on the left side of the closed finger, so that's 20, and then you have seven on the right side, so 27. Let's do that one more time. So how about four times nine? So you count one, two, three, four, and now you have three on the other side and six on the right side, so three on the left side, six on the right hand side, that's 36 and so on. So that's for the nine. Now, how about the six, seven, and eight? For the six, seven, and eight, it is not tricky, but what you need to do, so you take this hand and you count six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the same thing with the other hand as well. It doesn't matter if you wanna count from here or there, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's how you count the fingers. Now, let's say we have six times seven. So six times seven, the first hand, you count the six and you close it. And from the other hand, you count to seven. So again, we're counting from, the, 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 every finger counts from six all the way to 10. So six times seven, so six, you close that. And then six, seven from the other hand, you have this. Now you go three times four, which is 12. Now the closed fingers, you have three closed fingers. Each one counts for 10. So that makes it 30. Now you add the 30 to the 12, that gives you 42. So that's how you do six times seven. Now let's try it again. It works for all numbers from six to eight. It's magical. So how about eight times eight? So you go from this hand again, you know, each we start counting from six for each finger. So six, seven, eight, you close that. And then you do the same thing. You know, you start at six from your finger. So six, seven, eight, you get this. Now you have two on this side and two on this side. You multiply these two and you get four, two times two is four. Now, how many fingers you, you have closed? It's six fingers, so that counts for 60. 60 plus four is 64, so that's six, eight times eight, which gives you 64. Now, let's try another number. Let's say nine times, nine times eight. So let's do that. So again, let's count from, as again, Remember, like eight, when, on this hand, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On this hand, this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we said nine times eight. So six, seven, eight, nine, and then times eight, one, uh, six, seven, eight. So you have one here and two here. So you multiply these two together. One times two is two. And then how many fingers you, you have closed? Seven. So that's each finger counts for 10, so that makes it 72. Let's try it one more time. And after that, you, could, you go ahead and try it your, yourself and teach your kids how to do it. And six from six to nine, it will be very easy to do. How about seven times seven? So seven times seven. Again, six, seven, six, seven. We have three in this finger, three in this finger. So time times them. Three times three is nine. Whoa. And then the closed fingers, you have four closed, closed fingers, so each one counts for 10, that makes it 40. 40 plus nine, that's 49, and that's seven times seven. I'll do one more. So let's do nine times nine. So six, seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. You have here one times one, that gives you one, and you have eight closed fingers, so that is counts for 80. 80 plus one is 81. Okay, to be generous, I'm gonna do one more just to make sure this works, and I'm sure this works. So let's do eight times seven. So let's count here, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, you have three fingers le left here and two fingers left here. You multiply these two, three times two is six, and you have five fingers closed. That counts for 50. 50 plus six is 56. Isn't this amazing? Teach, teach this to your kids, they'll never have problems with the most complicated numbers for kids to memorize, which is six to eight, and then the nine is even easier. I hope you like this method. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment on my videos, subscribe, and share so others could benefit. Thank you again. Bye-bye.